Hello, hope you are doing good. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to create a consulting website using Wix. The first thing you will need to do is go onto Wix.com. And Wix is one of the best website builders for beginners as it will allow you to create a stunning website for completely free. All you'll need is your email address. Once you're signed up, you're going to tap on Create New Site. After selecting Create New Site, you will be redirected to a page like this. Once on this page, I want you to tap on Create on Wix Editor. After selecting Create on Wix Editor, you're going to be redirected to a new page. And you can see you have the option to allow AI to build out the website for you. But I would normally recommend that you tap on Set Up Without AI as this will give you more ability to customize how your website looks. Once on this page, you can type right here on the search bar. So you could type in consulting. So whether you'd like to create a consultant page or you would like to go more specific, you could type in consulting. And from there, you can be a consulting blogger, financial consulting, political consulting, or so on. You can go more in depth and you can choose the particular niche that you would like to go in. So let's say, for example, I were to select consultant. After you have done that, you're going to be redirected to your Wix dashboard. Once on the Wix dashboard, I'll be showing you how to continue setting up your website. From here, you'll be able to add your business name. So you can add your business name real quick. So I'll name it Jason's Consulting. So let's do that. After doing that, you can also add your business address. So you could add in your business address right there. So you could add in your business address right here, then tap on next. After you're finished, you can add in your opening and closing hours. So is your business open five days of the week or six or seven days? You can select that. You can also select your opening and closing hours. So let's say for example, our business will be open from 8 a.m. and we'll be closing 3 p.m. So you can do that right there. So you can select the different opening and closing hours right there. Then you are going to tap on next in the bottom right hand corner. After you have done that, you can see some services that consultants normally offer. So brand consulting, introductory consultation. You can select the services that you will be offering. So you can scroll down and you can select the different services as you can see right here. And if you don't see a service that you would like to offer, you could tap on create new service and you could enter the service name and then tap on save. Later on in the tutorial, I'll be showing you how to add the prices for these services. You're going to tap on next in the bottom right hand corner. From here, you can add your staff member's name and email address. Then tap on next once more. And will you be offering virtual sessions? More than likely you will, as this is an online age. I would definitely recommend that you do that. And you can also accept payments online by tapping right there. And if you would like to sync your personal Google or Apple calendar, you could tick this box also. Then tap on next. After tapping on next, you're going to tap on continue to dashboard. Once on the dashboard, I'll be showing you how to set the prices for the services that you have added to your new website. I will also be showing you how to set up the different payment methods that you can offer to your clients and also how to view your booking calendar. Now to get started, you're going to go over to the left hand menu option, tap on booking services. And this is the booking services page. And if you would like to add a new service, you could tap on add new service in the top right hand corner. But to edit the services that we have added already, we can simply hover over the service that we'd like to change the price, tap on edit, 
after you have selected edit you are going to be redirected to that particular service page and you can change the image if you want the cover image by tapping on the cover image right here and selecting edit image and by scrolling down if you would like to add a quick description you can do that you can also change the duration of that particular service and you can scroll down and you can see that you can offer different payment plans and also by scrolling down you can set your price right here so let's say for example one thousand dollars and from there you can simply tap on save in the top right hand corner so we'll tap on save anyway after you have saved this what i want you to do now you can continue editing the different service pages after editing the service pages in the future to view when you're booked for you would hover over booking calendar and select calendar right here and you'll be able to see when customers have booked you and for what particular time the next thing i want you to do on the left hand menu option also you are going to scroll down and you are going to hover over billing and payments and from here you are going to set up payment methods so we are going to tap on payments from there you will tap on manage payment methods after selecting manage payment methods you will be redirected to this page and depending on the country you are located in you will see different payment options for example i can offer tilopay and paypal and if i were to scroll down tap on see more payment option you can see that i can also connect payment wall but if you would like to offer more payment option all you'll need to do is change the location so if i were to tap on change right here tap on search by country then type in for example united states and select united states then tap on choose you can see that i'm now provided with with more payment options for example i can accept wix payments which would allow me to collect apple pay and google pay as you can see right there so all i would need to do is tap on connect and set up an account and my customers will now be able to pay via Wix payment and you can also tap on see more payment options and you can now connect AAA which would allow you to collect crypto payments you can also connect Afterpay, Affirm, Kalarna and so much other payment options as you can see right there once you are finished what I do recommend that you do is tap on upgrade now as you will need to upgrade to collect payments using wix and to upgrade is quite easy and it is also quite affordable as you can find as you can find plans on wix from 12 dollars going up so i do recommend that you upgrade after doing that you're going to tap on set up from the top left hand corner then you are going to tap on design site by tapping on design site you'll be redirected to this page and you're going to tap on pick a template after selecting pick a template you can scroll down and you can see the different templates that you can choose from there are numerous templates that you can choose from and these templates make it easy for anyone to create a stunning and also very operational functional beta website so let's say for example i would like to use this one all i would need to do is tap on edit after selecting edit you're going to give it a few seconds while the ai composes your website in the background once here you could tap on the box and you could provide some information and the wix ai would compose an article or articles that can be added to your website but you can tap on the x for now to close that after you have closed it you are going to tap on the plus 50 percent in the top right hand corner and now this is how our website looks at the moment so you can see it right here and the first thing we'll normally do is edit the header section to edit the header section you can simply tap on the text that is there at the moment and you could tap on edit 
text. From here, we can change the text to whatever we want. So we can change the name of the website. As you can see right there, you can also change the font style and font size if you want. Another thing that you can also easily do when it comes on to Wix is edit any section. So let's say, for example, we would like to change this image and we'd like to also change the text. You can simply hover over the section, tap on Quick Edit. After selecting Quick Edit, you are going to see a pop-up window appear on the right-hand column, as you can see right here. So we are going to tap where you see Title, and we are going to change that. So let's do that real quick. After you have done that, you can scroll down, and we are going to be changing the column image. So you will tap on Change. After you have selected Change, you are going to select Image. Once you have selected Image, a pop-up is going to appear. From here, you could tap on Upload Media, and you could upload a photo of your choosing, or you could tap on the search bar, and you could type in and get a copyright-free image that you would like to use. So let's say, for example, I'll just type in consultant, for example, and then tap on Enter, and you will see different copyright-free images that you can add to your website. So you can scroll down, and let's say, for example, I would like to use this image. I could tap right there, then tap on Change Background, after you have done that, you can see that the image has now changed. Then you could go back. If you would like to change this section, the strip background also, you could tap on change to change that also. So once we are finished, we'll tap on the X right there. And if it is a case that you would like to add something that you don't see, all you'll need to do is go over to the top left hand corner, tap on the plus that says add elements. From here, you can add text boxes, images, buttons, strip, anything at all that you would like to add to your Wix website, you will find it in this section. Whether it is a contact form, whether it is a pop-up or a sign-up, you can do that by selecting interactive. And by the way, a pop-up is called light boxes on the Wix platform. So you can see the different pop-up options right there. You can also add your social links by selecting social right here. You can add your social links and so on. And to view the other pages that are currently on your website, you would tap on home in it. To view the other pages that are currently on your website, you will tap on home on the top left hand corner and you can see the different pages right here. So for instance, if we were to tap on the services page, we will be redirected to the service page and you will see the different services that we offer right here. And all someone would have to do is visit this page, then tap on book free consultation or tap on the service that they would like to hire us for. Once you're finished, you'll tap on save in the top right hand corner to save the changes. And after the changes have been saved, you could tap on preview to preview how it looks, then tap on publish. And from there, you'll be provided with a domain name that you can use. So at the moment, this is how our website looks. I hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative. And if there's a case that you would like me to go more in depth and you have a particular question that you would like to ask, please let me know in the comment section. And thank you for watching.